Now it's time to talk about the what in a little bit more detail. So let's focus on the what a little bit more. And we're talking about what kind of variables. That's really what we're focus focusing on. And there's two kinds of variables that we want to talk about. One of the variables that we're going to focus on is categorical variables. The other one is quantitative variables. So let me give you a little bit of an idea of how to recognize if the variables that you are looking at are categorical or quantitative. Let's start off with categorical. You know that you are looking at categorical variables if you see some kind of characteristics. If the data that you're looking at describes the respondents or the subjects or the experimental units um, in some way, like hair color or uh, eye color or their favorite food or which uh, path they prefer to take to go to, you know, to get through the maze, then those are cate that's categorical data and those are cat categorical variables that you're collecting. So if they show some kind of characteristic, you're talking about categorical. Another clue to know that you're talking about categorical uh, variables is that there are no numbers. If you're looking at um, a set of data or a set of variables and there are no numbers, then you absolutely know that you're talking about categorical data. Now, let's change gears a little bit here and talk about quantitative. variables. Now how do we know if we're dealing with quantitative variables? Again, ask yourself a couple of questions. First of all, are there numbers? If there are numbers, uh, then there's a good chance that it's going to be quantitative. And also look to see if there are any units. If there are units on those numbers, then again, you've got quantitative data. Now it is possible to have data that you collect that are numbers but they are not quantitative, and we'll talk about that here in just a second. But if you see numbers and those numbers have units of some kind, you're talking about quantitative data. Another huge question to ask yourself is, can it be measured or counted? If the data that you are collecting is collected by measuring something or counting something, then you are talking about quantitative data. Okay? If you measure something or count something, there's a very good chance that it's going to have units as well. So that leads us once again back to quantitative data. Now, let's look at some examples that can be a little bit tricky. Something that sometimes doesn't go with the no numbers um, or number situation, and it's, you have to dig a little bit deeper. What if we're looking at somebody's area code? For example, my area code is 513. Now this is numbers. Okay, 513, 513, this is numbers. Now if we know that we're talking about an area code, once again, knowing the context of these numbers, this area code cannot be measured, and it cannot be counted. So this area code describes me in some way. It actually gives, an, gives you an idea of where I live, if you know where certain area codes are. Okay? So area code would be categorical data, or a categorical variable. Another tricky one is zip code. Oops, not zip code, the zip code. Once again, the zip code give you my zip code, and it doesn't matter if you know where I live or not. Um, <clears throat> the zip code is another thing that describes where I am. It describes a characteristic. It does not describe, it cannot be measured or counted. You don't measure or count a person's zip code. So sometimes numerical values or numbers that make up your data 
are not necessarily quantitative. Sometimes, once again, they can be categorical. 